चलिए तो इस बीच वित्त मंत्री प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के लिए तैयार हैं आइए वहीं चलते हैं सीधा आई वॉन्ट टू थ्रू यू अनाउंस समथिंग विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द रेस्पॉन्स विच वी हैव बीन ऑलमोस्ट ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस गिविंग पोस्ट आर कंसल्टेशन विद मेनी segments of uh, industry and also uh, people who have been thinking about the economy stock market operators and so on so today uh, i'll first give you the what i can call the highlight and then get into the details we today propose to slash the corporate tax rates for domestic companies and also for new domestic manufacturing companies there are other fiscal reliefs also which we are bringing about and this set of amendments are being brought about what i can call the highlight and then get into the details we today propose to slash the corporate tax rates for domestic companies and also for new domestic manufacturing companies there are other fiscal reliefs also which we are bringing about and this set of amendments are being brought about in the taxation laws through an ordinance which we will pass which is actually passed only probably a couple of minutes ago and these amendments to the income tax act 1961 and the finance number 2 act of 2019 i'll now give you the salient features of what these proposed tax rate cuts are number 1 in order to promote growth and investment a new provision has been inserted in the income tax act with effect from fiscal year 2019-20 which allows any domestic company an option to pay income tax at the rate of 22% to 2% subject to condition that they will not avail any exemptions or incentives the effective tax rate the effective tax rate for these companies shall be 25.17% inclusive of all surcharges and cess so the effective tax rate for these companies shall be 25.17 percentage inclusive of all surcharge and cess an important aspect here to add is also also such companies shall not be required to pay any minimum alternative tax no mat on them no mat will be applicable on them so this is the first the second in order to attract fresh investment in manufacturing and thereby provide a boost to make in india another provision has been inserted to the income tax act with effect from fiscal year 2019-20 which allows any new domestic incorporated on any new domestic company incorporated on or after 1st october 2019 making fresh investment in manufacturing an option to pay income tax at the rate of 
15.15%. This benefit is available to companies which do not avail any exemptions or incentives and commences their production on or before 31st March 2023. So they should commence production on or before 31st March 2023. So new companies which are getting incorporated 1st October 2019 or after, which also commences its production on or before 2023, 31st March, can avail of this at 15% rate. The effective tax rate for these companies shall be 1717.01%. Inclusive of all surcharge and cess. Again, in this case too, also, such companies shall not be required to pay any mat. I move to the third. The effective tax rate for these companies shall be 1717.01%. Inclusive of all surcharge and cess, 17.01%. And also, again, such companies shall not be required to pay any mat. I move to the third. A company which does not opt for the concessional tax regime and avails the tax exemption or the incentives shall continue to pay tax at the pre-amended rate. However, these companies can opt for the concessional tax regime after expiry of their tax holiday or exemption period. So if they are already enjoying some exemptions and also some tax holidays, and if they would want to continue in that, they have a choice to do so. But if they want, that is, if they want to continue with the uh, existing um, exemptions. That's an option we are giving. However, these companies can opt for the concessional tax regime after the ex expiry of their tax holiday or the exemption period. So once their exemptions, which they are enjoying now, are all expired, they can opt to move on to this regime which we are announcing today. After the exercise of the option, suppose the period is over, concessional uh, and exemption period is over, the tax holiday is over, they opt to come over to this regime. After the exercise of the option, they shall be liable to pay tax at the rate of 22%, which is what is announced today, and option once exercised cannot be subsequently withdrawn. That's just to make sure that you can't keep flip-flopping. Further, in order to provide relief to companies which continue to avail exemptions and incentives, suppose those who are enjoying some concessions, some tax holidays, want to continue in it and not opt for this new 22% rate, even for them we are giving a mat relief. And that mat relief is this, which I'm reading now. Further, in order to provide relief for companies which continue to avail exemptions and incentives, the rate of minimum alternative tax has been reduced from the existing 18.5% to 15%. So, this for all the one minute, let me finish the whole thing and then you can. I move to the next. In order to stabilize the flow of funds into the capital market, it is provided that enhanced surcharge introduced by Finance Number no. 2 Act of 2019. I'll read it again. In order to stabilize the flow of funds into the capital market, it is provided that the enhanced surcharge 
which was introduced by the Finance No. 2 Act of 2019, the budget of July 2019, shall not apply on capital gains the enhanced surcharge shall not apply on capital gains arising on sale of equity share in a company or a unit of an equity-oriented fund or a unit of a business trust liable for securities transaction tax in the hands of an individual, HUF, AOP, BOI, and AJP. I'll read this paragraph all over again. In order to stabilize the flow of funds into the capital market, it is provided that the enhanced surcharge introduced by the Finance No. 2 Act 2019 shall not apply on capital gains arising on sale of equity share in a company or a unit of an equity-oriented fund or a unit of a business trust liable for securities transaction tax in the hands of an individual, HUF, AOP, BOI, and AJP. So that's the fourth. I move to the fifth. The enhanced surcharge shall also not apply to capital gains arising on sale of any security, including derivatives in the hands of foreign portfolio investors. That paragraph again. The enhanced surcharge shall not apply to capital gains arising on sale of any security, including derivatives in the hands of foreign portfolio investors. I move to the next. Repeat that? I repeat the fifth point. The enhanced surcharge shall also not apply to capital gains arising on sale of any security including derivatives in the hands of foreign portfolio investors. Shall I move to the next? In order to provide relief to listed companies which have already made a public announcement, I repeat, in order to provide relief to listed companies which have already made a public announcement of buyback before 5th July 2019. It is provided that tax on buyback of shares, it is provided that tax on buyback of shares in case of such companies shall not be charged. Can I move to the next and the last? The government has also decided to expand the scope of CSR 2 person spending, the CSR 2 person spending. Now CSR 2 person fund can be spent on incubators funded by central or state governments or any agency or public sector undertakings of central and state governments and making contributions to public funded universities, IITs, national laboratories and autonomous bodies all which are established under the auspices of ICAR, and ICMR, CSIR, DAE, DRDO, DST, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, all of which is included. Engaged in conducting science, uh, research in science, technology, engineering, medicine aimed at promoting SDGs. So that is 
something which comes out of the CSR, the Companies Act, but others were all related to income tax. So the ordinance will not include this CSR bit, but I've just put that in here also so that it all comes in one place. The last and the most important line which you'll be interested in knowing is the total revenue foregone. <laughs> right? The total revenue foregone. You want to know it or shall I skip it? <laughs> the total revenue foregone for the reduction in corporate tax rate and other reliefs is estimated 1,45,000 crores per year. Per year. All right? Uh, well, the, the, all this is applicable, this, this is fiscal, so obviously it will have an impact. So that is my announcement prior to going into the GST. Ma'am, 